I'm a 16 year old, 5 foot 10, Filipino, studying at an American international school in China. Not exactly your stereotypical high school student, no? But given my background, I had to ask myself, what is a stereotypical high school student nowadays? Or rather, what's a normal high school student? Or even more basic than that, what's normal? And why does everyone want to be normal? I remember a couple weeks ago, I was sitting in my psychology class, working quietly by myself. We'd just been given the rest of the block to work individually. So I was lost in thought for a solid 10 minutes, pondering our latest assignment. When one of my friends, one of my classmates, came up to me and asked, are you okay? Now my gut reaction was, wow, a girl said something to me. But taking out this, factoring out the surprise, I had to also ask myself, was I doing something wrong? Was being quiet somehow detrimental to the learning environment of the classroom? And then I realized that no, it wasn't something on my part. But it was something that was abnormal because I feel like high school students now are expected to be excited, to be bubbly, for lack of a better word, all the time. And it's true that, okay, participating in classroom discussions is necessary for us to learn. But when someone has to comment on my quietness, harmless as that may be, during class, you can get a feel for what is actually considered normal and how we're all expected to be normal. Now, if you take a look at what exactly normal is, one of the definitions is conforming to a standard. Common, ordinary, expected, average. I personally would hate being characterized by any of these because it would make me feel so boring. And I don't think anybody wants to be called boring. And yet we all, has, we all have this ridiculous aspiration of being normal. So how can we become not boring if we're all trying to be normal? Take a look, for example, at what's expected of high school students. Good grades and extracurricular activities. Now, of the two, the latter is becoming by far the most sought out by colleges because it's becoming normal for students to have good grades to get in. Now, obviously participating in extracurricular activities is important. It gives you, it allows people to gauge what someone is really passionate about outside of the school environment. And yet a phrase that I've heard far too, come, far too often this year is resume filler. I'd ask one of my friends, hey, why do you join the new club? And a response that I've heard so many times has been, oh, I don't know, I think it would just look good on my resume. Now, what does this tell you about high school students? Are we simply joining extracurricular activities because they look good on our resume? I mean, sure, this is practical. It's what colleges, it's, what, it's the only thing colleges will see. But how then can we gauge what students are actually passionate about? It's impossible to tell whether or not someone is actually committed to an extracurricular if the only reason they're doing it is to fill up a resume. <laughs> And it's not just me, or high school students, or people that in the school environment in general. There have been studies since the, dating back to the 1950s on investigating this notion of conformity, or adhering to norms. The famous experiment on Ash's paradigm concluded that people, in the face of the most obvious and blatant truth, were willing to conform to a group to accept another group's notion of what is true, simply because they either wanted to be part of a group, wanted to fit in, or because they believed that the group they wanted to fit in with was more knowledgeable than they were. Now of this too, it seems very obvious that the second is more applicable to high school students. Because given our diverse amount of talents, it's impossible for us not to look up to those who perform well academically. And this is a good thing, looking up, having role models. But that doesn't mean that we should all strive to be normal, strive to be part of this in-group. Strive to be part of any group, really, if we don't want to be. And another way of looking at this is saying that, oh no, students don't just want to be normal, they just want to fit in. Well, if you look at what fitting in entails, it's conforming to a standard, essentially trying to be average, not trying to be part of a group, but it's trying not to stand out from a group. And this isn't, this isn't, this is a far cry from all the calls I've heard, they're inspirational, they're calling us to be unique. So that's why I'm here in front of you all tonight, to put my own twist on these messages, not just to be unique, more importantly, to stop being normal.
And yet even that sounds a little bit cliche, right? But it's the message that I want to give to you all tonight. When we consider if everyone simply wants to fit in, how then is this representative of being unique? How can But I get it. I was a kid growing up that wanted to fit in. I remember a couple of years ago when I was in middle school, one of my peers made a comment that, oh, Byron, you look really weird with your glasses on. And it wasn't just this one comment, but eventually I stopped wearing my glasses because I believed that in order to fit in, I would have to stop wearing them. And it wasn't just that one comment. There were teachers, other friends, relatives that said, Byron, you look really nice without your glasses today. Or, Byron, you look strange with them on. So I stopped wearing them. And I knew, I know now, that this is a decision that lacked any form of common sense. Just as an experiment, I was rehearsing this talk a couple nights ago, and I had my glasses on, reading from the computer screen. So to see what would happen, I took them off and realized that I could not see the words in front of me. Now, what kind of decision is this? It's obviously one that was wrong. I should have kept wearing my glasses so my eyesight would get better, but I didn't because I thought it would help me fit in. So to symbolically display what I mean when I say to you all, stop being normal. <laughs> this is part of being normal. My glasses are now on. Every single one of the 7.3 billion human beings on this earth has the capacity to be special, has the capacity to be something more than normal. If we simply choose to erase this notion of achieving normality, we can do whatever we want to be. Most especially high school students like myself, who are still at the beginning of their lives, they have their whole future ahead of them. We can be scientists, TEDx speakers, entrepreneurs, business leaders. Whatever we choose to be, we can be if we only erase this ridiculous aspiration of constantly wanting to be normal. So I urge you all, most especially high school students like myself, to wipe off the film of dust that's gathered on your long misused glasses, step into a clearer world, and be what I'll try to coin as a new cool. Different. Be different. Thank you.